I just bought MacBook Air M1 and it's weird. Despite being released back in 2020, it's still popular, like insanely popular and it's not stopping. Of course, there's multiple reasons for that and I'm gonna talk about my first impressions on this laptop as a longtime Windows gaming laptop user on this MacBook Air M1 unboxing. There's also gonna be in-depth review for this, performance tests, comparisons, and editing tests in the future, so please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. So what I have here again is the most popular, the MacBook Air M1 base model with 8 gigs of unified memory and 256 gigs of storage. Opening the box, you will be greeted by the MacBook Air itself. Surprisingly super light and if you're also like me who owns a gaming laptop, for sure, right from the start, you will also notice how heavy gaming laptops are and how easy to carry this one. We also have the paperworks here, instructions, manual, and stickers. The charging cable for this is USB-C, which is good, finally, because I'm already tired of my lighting cables from my iPad and iPhone. The charging brick for this MacBook Air M1 is 30 watts, which is enough, especially that the battery life of this laptop is amazing, and we're gonna talk about that in a bit. Upon opening this MacBook Air M1, it was so hard to figure out how to do a left click at first, especially when I was setting it up because the normal top doesn't work. Eventually, after around 10 minutes of confusion, I've accidentally discovered this force click feature. Initially, that was the setting. I like it, it's quite immersive, but I still prefer to just one click without any force, which is adjustable in the settings after you're done setting things up. After that, went into the home screen and yeah, as expected, it's quite hard to navigate around and some functions like maximizing, minimizing, and exiting applications or softwares works different on Mac. If you're on a Windows laptop, simply clicking X on programs closes it, but not on this MacBook. Clicking X here is almost the same like minimizing. It will still run on background, which might be annoying for some people, especially if you're saving application usage on memory. But personally, I find this helpful as you don't need to reopen things that pressures the RAM over the time. Of course, there's still a way to completely exit a program on this Mac. Just simply press Command plus Q and it's completely closed down. So for this one, I think MacBooks are quite more reliant on key functions. So if you want to fully maximize your experience, you might want to memorize some key functions first. Downloading apps and softwares are confusing as well. App Store is available, which on the first look, some might mistakenly think that this is where you install most of the things. Yeah, for some applications, it is, but it's still quite the same on Windows laptop, but again, weird. First, you need to download the installer. After you click that, you'll be prompted to this weird panel where you have to drag the thing onto the application folder. I don't know why, but that's the thing here. Unlike on Windows laptop, you'll go straight to the installation process. The multitasking is quite hard as well. On Windows laptop, you just drag things above and put the application to the specific space you desire. On this MacBook Air, you need to enter full screen, which is function key plus F and press F3 to enter mission control. And the other application that you will be multitasking with should be running and you need to drag that to the specific desktop that your first application is open. I don't know yet if there's easy way to do this. For sure there is, but this is just my first impressions and I'm going to create more contents about this soon. So make sure to subscribe if you're looking forward to that. Addition to some new things here for me is the Finder, which I don't really know if it's equivalent to Windows Explorer on Windows laptop. But, you know, it's quite missing something. So, yeah, still not sure about that. Next to Finder, literally, is the Launchpad, where you will find the softwares, programs, and applications that is installed on your MacBook. I like this one. This literally makes your home screen cleaner, and you can just put your widgets on your home screen, which is a lot more productive and aesthetically pleasing to look at. So there are two things that is really interesting about this MacBook Air M1 base model, which is the 8 gigs of unified memory and the 49 watt hour battery. Again, this laptop cost me 890 US dollars at the time that I recorded this video. Ever since I turned on this MacBook Air M1 and charged it up to 93%, on battery mode, I've been using it for a total of 6 hours writing documents, browsing internet with Google Chrome, which I don't know if this is the best version for the Mac OS because from what I know, there are specific launch versions like Adobe Premiere Pro, they have a beta version which runs way smoother than the normal one on Mac OS. So I think there's also one for Google Chrome that has a lower usage on memory. Aside from that, I've also watched animes and series which results to another 6 hours of Netflix and 2 hours of YouTube, including some other activities as well like downloading apps, upgrading to Mac OS Sonoma, and multitasking through Notion and Apple Notes. From that 93% on that day that I've turned it on and charged this MacBook Air M1, 
it drained down to 48% on the next day on the same time. Which is absurd and unbelievable especially if you're coming from a gaming laptop with 2-4 to four hours of battery life and decreased performance on battery mode. This is insane and I have to note this. There's no any system performance decrease while using this MacBook Air M1 on battery mode. This includes gaming and video editing as well and I'm gonna create a separate video for that. So based on my calculation, I'm gonna have to charge this every 1 day and 12 hours if it's just normal browsing, watching, and daily tasks. Of course, my main function for this is video editing on Final Cut Pro which I haven't done yet. But again, we're talking about the initial result that we have here from the beginning. From unboxing to charging and using it, insane battery life and we'll dig deeper onto this on my in-depth review. The last thing about this MacBook Air M1 base model is how amazing the 8 gigs of unified memory. I've been through some budget gaming PC builds and laptops with 8 gigs of RAM and one thing's for sure. The 8 gigs of unified memory on MacBook is not the same as 8 gigs of RAM on some PC, normal laptops, or gaming laptops. This 8 gigs of unified memory is fluid and runs like a running water and I'm not exaggerating because Based on my experience when using 8 gigs of RAM on some PC or laptops, you can already feel the compromised performance when multitasking or opening multiple applications. But on this MacBook Air M1, which most of the time uses 3 to 5 gigs of memory on multitasking based on my current usage, the performance is really competitive and personally for me, this thing wins that. So for my first impressions about this MacBook Air M1 base model, that's it. In the next few days and months, you're going to be seeing a lot of things about this popular MacBook Air, which I'm going to do a lot of testing, especially my in-depth review for this, performance tests, real-life situations with this laptop, editing with 8 gigs of unified memory using Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm also going to talk about whether it's worth buying or not and comparing this as well to my monster gaming laptop. And also what's going to be the full Apple ecosystem things that you can do with this MacBook Air M1 paired up with my iPad, iPhone, and Apple Watch and a lot more so don't forget to subscribe it's gonna be interesting and you should look forward to that if you enjoyed watching this drop a like on this video it would help me a lot and if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to comment down below again Hermes here thanks for watching and catch you guys on the next one <laughs> あなたと同じ程度の力しか出していません。